I'm often without my computer, and if an idea strikes me, the best I can do is make a text note on my phone. But sometimes words are not enough, and I need to be able to capture the idea with a sketch. That's where having a stylus can come in handy. But it has to be a good stylus because these generic soft tip ones are way too big on the drawing end, and they're much too stubby to feel comfortable. Plus, the rubber ones wear out quickly and the whole pen has to be replaced. I've tried some with bristle tips, and those are okay for loose painting, but they really lack the precision for sketching. There are also larger pen-like styluses that work well for precision drawing, but they're often too large for drawing on a phone and are better suited for a tablet. That's why I'm excited about the Adonit Droid. It's a slim yet precise stylus that's just the right size for drawing on a phone. I'm gonna run it through some tests and we'll see how it holds up. Thanks for joining me today. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and it is my mission to help artists like you learn about digital art and the technology you can use to create it. That's why today we're looking at the Adonit Droid, which is a capacitive stylus you can use to draw on your phone. Are you ready for the quickest unboxing video ever? I'm gonna open the top. There it is, that's what's in the box. We don't need this anymore. And what's funny is when you first take it out of the box, it actually looks more like this, where there's no tip on the end. And I was actually outside when I opened this up. And I opened the box and I'm like, where's the tip on this thing? And I thought for a second, oh, I must've dropped it on the ground. It must've fallen out of the box. It's so small and light. I didn't notice it, it landed in the grass, and I was all prepared to get down on the ground with a magnifying glass and look for it. But then I took a second look at the pen and I realized that this just screws off, screws on the other end, and that's the cap to protect the tip. So as I mentioned, this is a capacitive stylus for Android phones, and you can use it for sketching on your phone or taking handwritten notes or ideas. It's compatible with the Samsung Galaxy S7, which I'm using here, or the S8 or newer. It's also compatible with a lot of other phones like the Huawei, I don't know how you pronounce that, Huawei, Huawei Mate 10, the Oppo R11, the Sony Xperia X71, the HTC U11. Probably works with a lot of devices that are capacitive. What's really gonna matter is the size of the disc and the size of the input that's required for the device. I have to admit, I did try it on my Cintiq and it worked, though I wouldn't recommend doing that yourself since I don't know whether it'll scratch the screen or not. Now, because this is a capacitive stylus, you don't want to use it with a screen protector because that will decrease the sensitivity of the pen. The Adonit Droid is seven millimeters in width. It is ultra slim and very lightweight. It's definitely on the smaller side of pens. It's certainly not anywhere near the thickness of a pencil or an ink pen, but it does feel proportionate to the size of the phone. Though larger pens are easier to hold for someone like me with big hands, they can also feel too heavy or too bulky when limited to a small screen size. If you're drawing on a larger phone or tablet, you might want something larger like the Adonit Pro 3. As far as the materials and the feel, it has a brushed metal barrel or body with a plastic disc for the tip. It feels smooth against your skin. It's not sticky, but it is a little bit slippery. It comes in silver, midnight blue, and the black version like I have here. The disc is a 4.75 millimeter non-removable precision disc with sound dampening to reduce that annoying tapping sound that you hear when you tap on your device. So you can still hear tapping, but it's not quite as bad as it could be. The disc is transparent and you'll hardly notice it when you're drawing on your device. Now Adonit says that the tip is non-removable, but that's not entirely accurate because you can replace the tip if it does get lost or broken. As I mentioned earlier, you can just unscrew the cap here and then you can use that to stow the tip in there and then it stays protected. There's also a carrying clip, so if you wanted to hook it to your shirt, you could do that. Because the Adonit Droid is a capacitive stylus, there are no batteries required, but there's also no pen pressure. Wah, wah. But it is still possible to get a varied line width effect if your art application supports it. Adonit does make other models of pens that do support pen pressure, depending on the device that you're going to pair it with. This Adonit Droid is priced at $24.99, and then of course there's other models that are more expensive or less expensive. There's a great comparison chart on their website that I recommend you check out. So now I'm going to cut to a time lapse of a demo drawing of me drawing with the Adonit Droid on my Samsung Galaxy S7 using Infinite Painter. And this is just a doodle that I made up for my imagination, just something quick to give you an idea of what it can do. While you're checking this out, I'm going to share some of my thoughts on the Adonit Droid. It worked pretty well for sketching and doing loose painting. The tip is very precise and that's nice. Oh, that rhymed. Because the disc is very small and it's transparent, 
you really don't notice it that much when you're drawing and you can focus more on the tip, which looks kind of like the tip of a ballpoint pen. So unlike your finger, which covers half the screen, this is a lot easier to draw with if you're doing lots of fine lines. However, it's not so good for inking in my opinion, but maybe if you have an app that has brush stabilization, it might be a little bit easier. I had a hard time drawing smooth lines, but that was more due to the size of the screen, which forced me to use small gestures. I don't think it was necessarily a problem with the pen itself. The shape of the tip can feel a little bit odd since it's a disc. I found that when I'd pick my pen up and then put it down, sometimes the disc was flipped upside down. It wasn't difficult to kind of shake it or tap it to correct it, and it didn't happen often enough to keep me from drawing. As far as handwriting, the fine tip made it easy to write even with a fine brush size. It works well for taking short notes and drawing little diagrams and things like that, but personally I wouldn't feel all that comfortable trying to write several pages of notes with it. The build quality feels pretty sturdy. The barrel doesn't bend if I kind of try to bend it here. I mean, I'm sure if I tried really hard, I could probably break it, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna break under normal use. It feels pretty solid. The clip feels average, but it has enough give to accommodate a variety of widths, so it does stretch out a little bit. I'd be worried if you stretch it out too much that it would bend or possibly break it off, but for the most part, it feels pretty solid. The tip and the disc feel somewhat fragile. I would make sure to keep that protective cap on when the stylus is not in use. It's durable enough for drawing and the tip isn't gonna wear out like some of the other styluses out there, so you don't have to worry about that. Now let's talk a little bit about portability. This is a light and low profile pen, so it wouldn't be bothersome to bring along with you. However, since it's so small and light, I would worry about losing it. And I know that it has a clip, but I might accidentally run it through the wash if I leave it clipped onto my shirt, except wait, I don't really wear a whole lot of shirts with pockets, so I'd probably have to end up putting it in my pants pocket. And in that case, I'd be worried about it falling out when I take my phone out or I sit down. At $24.99 a pop, I don't wanna be replacing this every month or two. If you ask me, I think a pen this small needs some sort of way to attach it to a phone. And I know that's a lot to ask for because all phones are different, but I was able to MacGyver something in about five minutes using small rubber bands for hair. This probably isn't durable enough to last more than a day or two in my pocket before the rubber bands snap, but it gives you an idea of the kind of accessory that's crucial for this pen to actually get used. I have a lot of styluses and I have the best intentions of using them, but I just don't make it a priority to bring one along with me everywhere I go. If there were a simple way to attach it to my phone, I'd use a stylus more often. I think because the Adonit Droid is small and accurate, it really has potential and I find it a lot easier to use than some of these other styluses that I've tried. So really the only gripe I have about it is I just don't have a way to attach it to my phone. And it would be really great if I did because then I would use it a lot more often. So the ball's in your court, Adonit. Can you make an accessory that'll fit all smartphones or is adjustable or is there some way to attach this to my phone? Because if there is, that would be awesome. So overall, I like it and I would recommend it to anybody who wants a thin light stylus that's very accurate and is proportionate to a phone screen. If you'd like to get your hands on an Adonit Droid, I'll put a link down in the video description. If you enjoyed this review and you'd like to see more reviews like this, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash digitalartreviews where you can help me review more digital art products like this. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you'll be the first to see my new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.